We've had a busy week in Sumo, so let's just take time to recap. This time last week was Terunofuji fating his ninth top tier title. A nearly impossible feat, it seems. Never before has a Yokozuna spent eight months out, won a cup, then basically spent eight more months out and won a second. He's a truly exceptional fighter. My body may have broken down somewhat, but at least my spirit didn't, he told reporters last Monday. And at least I kept my goals, which in turn kept me going through the darkest moments. Aiming for this title kept my career alive. His masterclass against Kotonowaka in the final day playoff could not have been taught two weeks before. His first five days last time were full of nerves and over-reliance on left side swipes. He only hit his stride midway, as I guess you'd come to expect. I couldn't train enough, he confirmed, but my condition went up as the meet progressed. Against Kotonowaka at the end, my initial charge was spot on, as was the way I used my weight to apply the necessary pressure, he said. But as for what comes next, though he dearly wants to go for 10 cups, he cannot say for sure. My body's been used to crazy training ever since I fell to Division 5, Teru said. But the flip side of that is my muscles have become too used to existing routines and no longer react to them. So it's time to consult the specialists and work out some new training methods. His win on day 14, by the way, which I attended in person, was his first by default as a professional, after 13 years of waiting. The wrestler who handed that win to him, Ozeki Horshoryu, had overloaded his suspect right knee in the closer on day 13. When attempting to trip Kirishima and being thrown back in response, his bandaged knee twisted awkwardly and his medial collateral ligament was strained. Although thankfully not in the league of Kotoeko's knee problem, it was enough to make him swear several times in the changing room post-match. He pulled out the following morning after getting his MRI results. His uncle Asa Shoryu though, now back in Japan for a spate of sumo events, said, I can't speak for him, but when I had the same kind of injury, I kept nuking it with painkillers, went into the ring feeling numb in that knee, but still found a way to the title. I guess generational values have changed. And for those who are desperate to see Horshoryu vs Terunofuji, they did get it on in relaxed fashion at yesterday's retirement event. Last Wednesday then saw Kotonowaka unveiled as the latest Ozeki. As you may have heard by now, he will fight under his current name for just the one more tournament in homage to his master and father. He will then assume his grandfather's ring name the next time he competes in Tokyo. And that day also saw the return of four familiar faces to Sumo's salaried level. Third Division Champion Wakataka Kage obviously stepped back up, as did shoulder injury victim Hakuo Ho, six months on from his finest sumo hour. Tsushima Nada also returned after half a year away, taking Sakaigawa Stable's salaried men once again to four. But the biggest surprise of all was the glorious comeback of veteran Kitaharima, 
back at silk apron level for just the second time since 2017. I've just kept plugging away all these years, so it seems like the kind of record I had set. He said of his ninth salaried promotion. A feat only achieved by Kizendu before him. Now I will try to outsparkle the youngsters, he added. And he'll try to do so backed by an almost home crowd next month in Osaka, which adjoins his native Hyogo. Now back to a piece I made in December at All Japan Amateurs. This lad, Kanato Matsui, last week became the latest product of Johoku High to enroll at Miyagi no Stable. As with ex teammate Haku Oho, he's enrolled almost a year after high school graduation, having fought as an amateur to gain fast track rights. And his quarter final run in a national event last year means he debuts alongside the lowest rankers of Sumo's third division. I'll be working flat out from now to try and catch Hakuoho, he said, and taking care not to be injured. He's certainly not the biggest of guys, and thus one in the Hakuho student mold. Saturday morning saw more bean throwing as the wrestlers welcomed in Japanese spring. Work prevented me from going, but I might as well just use these pictures from years past, as Endo is seemingly picked every year to scatter the beans at Narita Temple. This week, I understand. He and other salaried men from Ishikawa Prefecture will be off to the disaster region to chat with earthquake victims and help with food distribution. The Sumo Association has donated over $100,000 to the cause, one third of which was raised in collection boxes for fans during the January meet. And a special disaster fundraiser will also be held at the Sumo Hall sometime in April. No word as yet, though, on whether the April Tour event scheduled for Nanao will take place. Finally then, Sunday obviously saw Tochinoshin's haircutting. The day before saw Shimazu Umi's top flight promotion party, also at the Kokugikan. You can see more of these events, and perhaps 20 or so others, on my now four-month-old Patreon. If you have the means, and if you really wish.